Well, Alejandro Moreno has achieved so much in football, but I suppose the highlight alley is getting to do the transfer rater on ESPN FC, and it's back. Hey, hey. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> Where shall we start? How about at the top with Wilfred Zaha? Now, this is something you and I and you and others have spoken about on FC. It seems to be this kind of stage of the season every year when he's leaving Palace, where is he going? Well, he's still at Palace. So is he going to Spurs? Does that make sense? Is that a good fit? I think it makes sense for Wilfred Zaha to leave Crystal Palace. I think he's done what he was going to do in that club. And his career has seemed to plateau at Crystal Palace. Is You know exactly what Wilfred Zaha is right now. And Potentially, there is more for him to achieve. And if that's the case, then he's got to take a step up. And Spurs would be a step up. It would make sense for Spurs to have a player like Saha, uh, sort of to counterbalance what Hyun Song would do on the other side. If you have two guys that are able to run at defenders in the manner in which both of these players do, it makes you a lot more dangerous. You can't just focus on one. The other can also hurt you in 1v1 situations. I, I think this is a good fit. No, number two, Kamavinga for PSG. You usually get one or two decent signings every summer from PSG. Do you think Kamavinga might be one of them? It may just be, and, and it may be yet another way in which PSG sort of um, controls the market and says, well, that looks like a good player. I'm going to get that guy. It's very much like Bayern Munich does in the Bundesliga. Um, now, PSG, of course, a disappointing season in the sense that they lose league on, Bill go on, goes on to win it. And so there are changes to be made at PSG. And mm, perhaps Camavinga is a guy that gets you excited for the future. Uh, and potentially you're looking for players that may just take the position for them, uh, guys that may not be around. What happens with Kylian Mbappe? Neymar has already re upped his contract, but is Mbappe going to stick around? We shall see. I, I think PSG is in an interesting position now where they still have a lot of good pieces in that team, but they need to start thinking about the future. And Camavinga may just be an answer to one of the problems that they could potentially face. Let's move to Northern Italy now in Turin. Does Cristiano Ronaldo stay there for the final year of his contract with Juventus? Mm. He does have the Coppa Italia, so he does have some silverware at the end of a, a pretty poor year for the club with no Scudetto, mm -hmm. or is it Arrivederci and Pastures new for Cristiano? I don't think I can remember the last time that Cristiano Ronaldo allegedly, allegedly, according to Andrea Pirlo, uh, said, you know what, I'm fine with not playing today. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired from Coppa Italia. Let somebody else go and be the guy who scores the goal. Let Morata be the guy. Let Dybala be the guy. I think there's more to this story than just, hey, uh, let's just give some other guy an opportunity here to shine. Because for the longest time, Cristiano Ronaldo has been the guy to shine. Mm -hmm. And his personality is one that I'm going to be at the forefront of everything that is meaningful for this club and for any club that I play for. I don't think that Cristiano Ronaldo will be at Juventus next year. Okay. Liverpool signing Ibrahima Konate from RB Leipzig. It's not quite a done deal just yet, but it looks like it's it's going to be a done deal and a, a five-year deal. If it does go through, what would he add to Liverpool that they don't have right now? Depth, strength, athleticism, speed, uh, and potential for this kid to become a really, really good player for Liverpool. This is one that can get Liverpool fans excited because it's not just a guy who's a stopgap. No, it's a guy that if indeed he fulfills his potential, then you're thinking may just be a starter for your team for a decade. If indeed he becomes a player, people think he could potentially become. Uh, I, I, I like Onate and I like the fit for Liverpool. I think this is a no-brainer for Liverpool. I think all the clubs, all the top clubs in England are trying to do what Man City did and, and get someone like Ruben Diaz, who's mm. going to be ultimately either in contention for Player of the Year or certainly up there. So that's one to, to look out for. Looks like that one's probably going to be completed within the next few weeks. Let's end 
with Paulo Dybala. You mentioned him when we were talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. And if Ronaldo mm. goes, as you think he may, Dybala has been linked with Atletico Madrid. Can they afford to lose him as well if Ronaldo wants to go? Well, it depends on what the role is for Paulo Dybala. I don't, and, and you cover Serie A for us. I mean, does it make any sense at this point to keep Paulo Dybala when at times there's been opportunity to, for him to play and no, he doesn't play? Does he play regularly? No, he doesn't. Does he play consistently? No, he doesn't. And I think by now you sort of know what Paulo Dybala is and what he's going to be in Juventus. And uh, is a guy that you may have thought, you know what, he was going to be great. And then he was. Uh, and, and if you keep hanging on to the bright moments of Paulo Dybala, then you're going to keep thinking, oh, this is when he turns it around. This is when he turns a corner. This is the moment. I can see it now. I can feel it now. And then he lets you down. It, it just hasn't happened consistently at Juventus. He has not taken the leap that he was expected to take. I think it's best for him to go elsewhere. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.